audio and all that. Everyone's recording. I yeah. just started audio. recording my audio as well. Wait, I got I got double check mine. Check one two, one, two <laughs> check check one two. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. <clears throat> Josh, you want to start us off? I feel like no. I talk too much. God damn it! <laughs> all right, that's fine. That's fine. All right, <clears throat> here we go. Three, two, one. Everyone clap at the same time. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, shit. Yeah. All right. Nice. <laughs> Nicely. Nicely done. All right. We're going to start now. Three, two, one. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the New Grounds Podcast. Today is a very special episode hosted by Zin Zinix, which is me, yours truly. And also, we have Cycle Goldfish as a nice co host. Which is me, yours truly. Hey! Well, yeah, mine's truly. It's Valentine's Day. So. Yeah. Be mine, Zin. Be mine. So if you ever want to be single, Josh, you can always hit me up, man. <laughs> All right. I'll remember that. <laughs> I'll remember to ask you when you're drunk. I'm kidding. All right. We have three people in the studio th- today. They're all game developers. Josh is a game developer, which is why he's co-hosting, which is nice because he can chaperone. In the studio, we have <laughs> Tomb Dude. Hello, Hello, Tomb Dude. Oh, boo, boo. Hold <laughs> on. That's <laughs> bring in. <laughs> All right, let's take, wow. take it from the top. We'll edit that out later. Post. Yeah, yeah, we'll just I'm restart. Unplugging that. I'm unplugging that shit right now. If, if somebody calls to say my dad died, they're not going to get me. All right. Jesus. All right, we're good. All right. Take two. Take let's two. clap again. All, All right, right, three, two, one. <laughs> All right, we're good. Hello, welcome to Mad Sisters Week Off. <laughs> I'm, I'm in the studio. I want to talk about their game, the Newgrounds Podcast. <laughs> welcome to the Newgrounds Podcast. Today's episode hosted by Zinzinix and Psycho Goldfish. Tomb Dude, welcome to the studio. That's me. What Thanks do you for do? having me. I uh, draw the funny. <laughs> draw the funnies. True. We also have June Dev. It is I. As well. And if Hello. you can't tell, June Dev is a developer, I think. Is yes. A developer? I, oh. I, I implement the funny. I implement the funny. <laughs> no, actually, I implement fruit. the fun, I think, was the description of my character. But yes. Tomb Dude draws the funny. June implements the funny, and then Prue, what do you do? I think I write the funky. Um, the fu- pro- <laughs> I, I think it was you composed the funky. Oh, I composed the funky. Yes. Which is also true. All right, now, Josh, tell me your favorite fact about these people. My favorite fact is the fact that a lot of you guys have like really new Newgrounds accounts. Um, yes. Tomb Dude's been around for a couple years now, but you guys just signed up in January. And yet somehow you built a game that has like pretty much every fucking Newgrounds reference ever. <laughs> How is this possible? How? Um, I actually have a Newgrounds account that dates back to like 2008 or something. I don't know. It's really old. It's really awful. There's <laughs> some flash animations on there. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen him. And I have way too many Newgrounds memories. So I had to vent them all in one game. <laughs> what about everyone else that's here? June Dev, what are your Newgrounds memories? Do they even exist? Okay, so my experience with Newgrounds isn't exactly like... Um, I have not very much to talk about. Like, I remember playing many, many, many Flesh games back in the days, like when I was a small little child. But then, um, like, and also the big huge classics such as, uh, you know, the Madness series, uh, the Nameless series, etc. But I never had an account. For some reason, I was just like, eh, I will register one day. Um, and I did. And I made a game. <laughs> um, that's it. Um, it's, it's just, it's all very new and fancy now that I have an account. So I just don't spend too much time on it. But it's a really nice platform. I like it a lot. Now, Prue, what are your Newgrounds memories? Oh, God. What brought you here? Uh, as everybody else, I had a childhood, I guess. So everybody spent... 
a few years on Newgrounds. Maybe in the mature section and adult sex section when you shouldn't <laughs> actually be there. When I was eight years old. <laughs> I was on my first titty. No, I oh, my, oh my god, you, <laughs> you lied to the internet? Shh, sh- shit. God damn it, <laughs> fuck. It's all out now, okay. Yeah, but uh, I played a lot of Flash games like everybody else. I never made an account because the internet was scary and he was asking me for my name and stuff. (laughs) And uh, I didn't have my own personal computer until I was like 17 or something. So I didn't like, I didn't even have an email address by then. So I didn't like an email address. Maybe I'm pronouncing it. No, no, no. I I was like, what? How how is this a thing? Yeah, what how are you supposed to email you speak of? How, how are you supposed to that? sign up for Club Penguin <laughs> without an email address? How, I'm, how I'm, do you? I, I have to be completely honest. I never played Club Penguin. I'm sorry. God damn it! Oh my Get god! Out of here! Oh my god! <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! I'm removing you from the credits. Ah, uh, god damn it! It's all over now. <laughs> oh yeah, Habbo Hotel. Yeah, that my sister had Habbo Hotel. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> or like Neopets. Oh stuff. boy. Ah, uh, Neopets. So, what brought you three together then? If if you guys never had an account on Newgrounds, really, besides Tomb Dude, what brought you three together to make a Newgrounds game finally? 4chan? Well, I... <laughs> okay, 4chan. <laughs> well, yeah, I, 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 met, I met Bruto on 4chan, like, how many years ago? Like, five years ago, I want to say five because... years, but that sounds scary that it's been that long. That is scary because I was making this shitty RPG maker game, and uh, Pr- <laughs> no, Pruta was like, shitty. "Does anyone want uh, music for their games?" And I was like, "I do, and I will pay you." And he was extremely surprised, and I did pay him, and the game never came out. <laughs> he did pay me. <laughs> he did. But the music was was fucking awesome. And wait, can I say the F word? Yeah, Please. fuck yeah. No, it's a new no, game. It's fucking okay. awesome. It's a, Hell yeah. St- no, we got to start over. We got to start over. <laughs> no. It's a clean show. Oh, yeah. Right, everyone, yeah. Everyone clap. <laughs> check, so, check. One, two. One. Check, check. <laughs> <laughs> he made some flipping awesome music. No. No. <laughs> and, it wasn't. And it was bad. We, we, it was nice. It was funky. And we made a lot of stuff together over the years, and nothing ever came out. Except, like, two things. <laughs> this came out? <laughs> Finally, yeah. this came out. That was cool. Yeah, and having um, something to show to somebody—that'd be that was cool. <laughs> well, June and I are uh, housemates, roommates. Yeah, uh, no, bro, love housemates. No, no, no that, that's not true. Uh, we, we, we just live We're in lovers. We, we just <laughs> we, we just live in the same apartment. Though we just happen to like um, we almost. Held hands once. No, I'm just kidding. We just live in the same <laughs> in the same apartment. We're we've been friends for how many years now? I think unknown. I have no idea. Uh, unknown. We we seriously do not remember how we met. Uh, it, it was probably <laughs> it, it it was probably when talking about Let It Die uh, on, on the PS4, and we were like complaining about how the game is just. I don't know. Have you ever played that? No, it's hard. I, I, it's ev- I even, everything. What is it? Let us let, let it us let die? it let it die. Everything wants you dead, and we were just complaining about it. And we eventually became friends over time. It just happened, but we do not remember. It happened. It happened. I like the moral. Oh what? Oh good. I told I forgot <laughs> to record the conversation <laughs> via Discord, but we got everyone recording on their own, so it's perfectly fine. We'll nice. Wait, should that. we clap Sorry. again? <laughs> no, we're not restarting. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm enjoying the clapping. I, I can clap. <laughs> well, it's like applause, but it's just I'm us. A, yeah. yeah, applauding for ourselves. For <laughs> we got out of bed today, guys. Hell Woo! yeah! We did Hell it. yeah! Hell yeah! You're Hell getting yeah. you're getting so many clap samples, Prout. All right, this is amazing. Josh. You were gonna say something. Was I? I don't remember. I played the game pen, though. I pen, played Man pen. Sisters. I was gonna say pen. You're gonna say pen? Pen. Oh boy. God, alright. Je- Psycho Goldfish, everyone, he's finally going senile. We can ask him for the new grounds <laughs> passwords. He'll tell us. <laughs> the password is just pen. All my passwords are pen. <laughs> Beautiful. I played the game though, Mad Sisters Week Off. I don't think Josh has played it, and I just want to say, "Fuck you, I haven't." 
I yeah, got the right. medal for finishing the story. You look at my profile, bitch. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> yeah, What's your high bitch? score that's, on infinite mode, then, motherfucker? It's not very high. It's, <laughs> I didn't think uh, so. It's, like, <laughs> it's I got twelve thousand nine hundred and seventy. What's yours? Um, oh, I have to. I have to look it up. Damn it! Yeah. Jones is impressive. I, got, <laughs> <laughs> I think mine's around three millions or something. Holy shit! <laughs> Three million five hundred and five thousand seven hundred and eighty three to be yeah, exact. So I some, witnessed something it. like that. And then Tomb Dudes only got like a half a million. Fucking loser. Yeah, uh, don't even a... look at mine. Don't say mine. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> I d- don't. Zinx has three hundred ninety five thousand eight hundred forty three. See, that's not bad. That's right? not bad. That's that's that's, that's, that's actually pretty good. That's an A, isn't it? No, it's a B. Oh well, then that 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 makes you kind of a loser. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> no, okay, I'm just kidding. Infinite, it's good. If for, for anyone who hasn't played the game, infinite mode is extremely well. I don't want to say extremely hard because they they made it to where you unlock a character at a certain point, and I've played it at least to like a 20 minute mark, 25 minute mark, and I have yet to unlock the character. So you guys' standards are really fucking high. No, wait, 25 minutes up to them. 20. Wait, you survived 25 minutes in it. I. I it has to feel like that, yeah. At least whenever the, <laughs> what? the second boss, whenever the second boss comes the, out, the second I boss. Do. Uh, okay, yeah. uh, you mean uh, if you're talking about Strangler, which is uh, the Golden Wrangler? Um, yeah, she comes out after like around seven minutes. Okay, all right. I survived maybe ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it feels longer. It feels so much longer. Yeah, uh, like and he's, and he's got a you have the achievement. Stick, guys. Yeah. The, the 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 thing about <laughs> endless mode is that it's just it's a complete mess. Like you have to pay attention to so many things, um, and the main thing being uh, the floor. The floor is zapping you. Um, that's the main thing that can kill your combo because you can so easily get distracted from the cops and the um, the UFOs, the the little safety bots. There are so many things happening at once. But yeah, let me, let me just say for the first the first time you introduced the electrical floor, I didn't realize like the jumping mechanics. Oh yeah, existed. okay, like, I okay. forgot to use it. So I was like, oh, I just need it. I need to get zapped and have a shield. That way, he doesn't ruin my combo. <laughs> I got, I got a, well, I got an S rank though. I, so, I so. suppose jumping is an option. Jumping's a nice option. You can jump over the ball, just in case anyone plays the game. I didn't. I, make I sure didn't you know jump. you could jump. It's, I didn't know you could do that. It tells you in the tutorial. It just I didn't you know you could jump. And I and I I'm not coordinated enough to like use WASD and hit shift at the same time, so I didn't use the shove at uh, all either. Yeah, the whack is pretty situational as a thing. Uh but it can be really helpful. Such in as in level five, uh when there's all the tiny narrow corridors in the dungeon, it's really helpful. But yeah, it's pretty situational. It's it's good at as a shield. So, while we're talking about the game mechanics, how did you guys come up with the game mechanics, and whose characters are these that are featured in the game? Whose OCs are those? They're mine, I guess. Also, the game like started off as a tiny project I was making myself. Like, uh, I think it was the, like, the 9th of January or something. Um, MK Mafo messaged me and told me, hey, you should make something for Pixel Day. Actually, I think she's she's here in the call. Yeah, she's here. In the, she- in the call, yeah. What? And she, and she was like, "Hey, you should make a, oh. a a game for Pixel Day." And uh I started working on it on my own in in Game Maker. Uh but but like uh the Game Maker fucking sucks. <laughs> the, the, the WebGL version uh wouldn't work. Like it it would totally ignore keyboard input. So I I crawled into into June's room and said, <laughs> "Hey, can you please help me make it in Unity? Well, yeah, so well, bawling my eyes out. Yeah, the the thing started as, um, hey, I need to make this in Unity because uh, Game Maker is being a piece of shit. So I was like, yeah, okay, sure. Uh, and I was like, please do sit down. And I was telling him about how to do things in Unity. And then after like ten minutes, uh, we switched, and I was just sitting there, and it was our game it, it it became our thing and and from there it just became 
figure, I guess? Yes. Yeah. Well, hold on. First <laughs> A- of all. Absolutely. For- First of all, how did you even meet MK Mafo? Because I like MK a lot. And, and why is she telling you, Tomb Dude, to make a, a submission for Pixel Day when you only have like five pieces of art on your profile <laughs> and you never interacted with the community? Why? Why you of all people? Well, uh, we knew each other like from a long time ago and we're both Italian. Like me and June are, are Italian. Also, Mamma Mia, and- etc. You know? <laughs> okay. And I don't know. She just told me, "Hey, you should make sh- shit for Pixel Day." And I was like, "Yeah." And she, <laughs> she, she told me, uh, "Wait, no." Yeah, I think she told me to make a, a new Newgrounds account and to put stuff on there. And she scouted me as an art thing. <laughs> yeah, and then you became indebted to her because she scouted you. You have to do what she says now. You know, what <laughs> yes. I'm that's how the scout system works. It's a yeah. it's a contract. And so I put her characters in the game, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole reason she told you to do it. Uh, I know I know. on the list of collectibles, it has to be at, like, 350, somewhere around there, is how many little pixel dudes you guys oh, drew. 430 something. Four hundred. Uh, wait, almost on, 500. Let me, let me open the game. Um, I think it's 464, but I may be wrong. My, uh, no, it's 430 something. It's, it's 426. <laughs> oh, just okay. 426. It's kind all of, of them it's, 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 in two weeks. It is kind of many. See, did you get them all? Would you say, Josh? Did no. you unlock them all yet? No, I got like 70 to go. I have all of them unlocked besides the one that you have to get by surviving in infinite mode for a long time. And almost almost all the ones I got are still just one star cuz yeah, <laughs> I'm not I'm not coordinated enough. So you, yeah. Have you guys thought about doing uh, controller support, though? Like, dual stick shooter? Um, mm, okay. I think uh, it wouldn't be too hard, probably. <laughs> or it would probably explode. But, yeah, um, we may end up doing it if there's a request enough. It's probably way harder to play the game like that, though. Like, way nah, harder. Not for boomers. Boomers are really good at controllers. Oh, right? yeah. They play Fortnite with it. True. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, boomers play Fortnite. Wait, okay. So, <laughs> let me let me just get the handle on this. The OCs, the the evil sisters were created specifically for this game, Tomb Raider? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I made them, like, they were one of the first things I drew for the, <laughs> for the game after on, making... On that note. After making the base of the... We got to get into the lore of this. We got to get into the lore of this. Like, you can't just tell us you just made them. <laughs> what, what I need to understand, how three sisters exist where one is a human, one is a skeleton gun, and one is a ball. Oh, there are two w- what sisters. What are their parents? There are two oh, sisters. Okay. Yeah, the gun is a sister. Just a skeleton. Oh, just pretending to be in the family. I Hang on. Just, are you, did, did uh, you? Uh, Sashka's just a skeleton, but the ball sister is totally normal. Okay, Wait, okay, okay, okay. Did you just assume Sashka... Is a female? What the hell? Oh my god. Yes. Again. Oh my god. Well, it's well, called Sisters We Got. So. <laughs> the, the, answer well. to the, the answer to the question, why are Marisha and Yelena sisters, is mind your own business. Why do you care? <laughs> They're sisters. No, I, I, want a, I want a prequel that shows how their parents got together and how this <laughs> happened. Oh, leave them alone. <laughs> listen, listen. We, we, we will have a Mad Sisters birth sequence i don't know <laughs> perfect yes <laughs> downloadable content is how Matt's they were born. first birthday <laughs> <laughs> yes so the so the idea to just shoot a big ball and then kill people well to, the official lore is that it doesn't kill people people actually no, enjoy they, they, no, they being love hit it, by the people ball. people yeah. love it so where does where does Prout come in for all this? Was that was Prout initially invited into the project? As soon as you wanted to make a game, you're like Prout, you're gonna make music for this, you're gonna like it. Yes, <laughs> that's yeah. about it. That was like, hey, check this out, and then link the video on January twelfth, and be like, hey, we're making a game. Do you want to make some songs? I'm like, yeah, sure. How many? They're like, eh, maybe two. It ended up being eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just yeah, it turned into eight songs. So. I mean, the scope yeah. expanded just a bit. It was like, okay, I can make two <laughs> songs in two weeks. That's not a problem at all. I'm like, dude, what if we had an entire week of gameplay and then we have to have like different songs for everything? And uh, 
So that was tough, and it was fun, but it was tough. I feel like I'm a bit of fault for this, like I, <laughs> because when programming, I was like, "Oh yeah, we just finished doing this, but we could also have this." Pro, would you mind making music for this? And he was like, "Yeah, I can do that." And so we just kept going. Prut, can you make the the dynamic drums? And can you make the dynamic people cheering? And can you make an eight bit version? I was like, yeah, of course. Oh, you yeah. you had him do all the sound design too. Uh, ju- uh, ju- just just the music. crowd cheering, the the, the, uh, the ones that play during the fever when they chant along with the song, just because because it had to be rhythmic and it had to be mixed together with the music. So I was the one responsible for that. One. I, I think that 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 one is my single favorite detail in the game like the crowd cheering on top of the music that just appears when you hit the fever targets yeah it's pretty sexy <laughs> i just realized there's a there's a live chat and people are asking questions yes they are so someone asked was yelena inspired by the dirty bubble actually i had no <laughs> idea what that was and like <laughs> we were looking at the first reviews and one of them said uh, oh uh, yelena kind of looks like the dirty bubble and I was like, what the, what the, the hell what? is the dirty bubble? <laughs> <laughs> and, and we Googled it, and the mo- the single frame it appeared on the screen, I I <laughs> became dust, and the strong wind carried me away. So Zizu kind of has a curse, uh, whereas he just uh, creates something, uh, only to later, but much later, discover it's very similar to something that exists already. It's It, it happens a lot. So it- it turns out that all the collectibles in this game, he just made up, and they just turned out to be similar. Yeah, to yeah, they're all OCs. You know, we and then, well, and then, and then MK Moffa was like, "Those look like Newgrounds guys. You should put it on Newgrounds." And, and you know, was like, okay. we were just like two two days before release. We found out that this guy named Tom Fulp actually exists. It's it's not a fictional character. <laughs> Wait, no, and he kind of looks like the impossible. one in the game. That's impossible. There's no way. No, no, he does. He does. He really exists. He even has he even has that shirt you invented. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. My, you, you can buy that. I think <laughs> <laughs> you can buy. It. We're selling it on our store. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, oh, cool. Where can I find the Mad store? Sisters merch? Where can I find the store to buy this T-shirt? And what website? Oh, it's yeah. like it's called this Newgrounds thing. I don't know. Oh, I haven't <laughs> heard about that site. Sounds cool. Weird. Yeah, it's just Mad Sisters references. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 20 years of Mad Sisters references. So, did this game really take two weeks to make? Like, yeah. That was your guys' Absolute, deadline? Insane. Absolutely. Um, so, um, the the question is, how did you make this, this game in two weeks? Uh, the answer is, I woke up, I programmed, I went to sleep. Um, the same goes for, <laughs> the same goes for Zizu. Uh, he woke up, he drew, he went to sleep. Uh, that's pretty much all that happened, and um, it's funny how there's also uh, our other flatmate uh, in the the voice chat, but he's the only one with audio muted, so he doesn't hear this. But yeah, I think we we were kind of a bother to him because we were loud in my room, constantly brainstorming and doing stuff, and I was like, "Oh, hey, I implemented this," and Zizu was like, "Oh, hey, I drew this." Uh, constantly it was it, it was a rush and screaming while finding bugs <laughs> yes <laughs> absolutely there, there's some insane moments with there, there are some <laughs> awful game breaking bugs that we couldn't get to happen to on our computers and only happened to friends who who are trying the game we're like uh, at, at certain times yelena would just disappear out of existence for a while, <laughs> yeah, for seemingly then, no reason, and then come back. <laughs> yeah, after okay. A while. The thing is, um, imagine programming and constantly testing your game for an entire week. Then you have a friend play it, and like twenty seconds later, he's like, "Oh, where has the ball gone?" You're like, "What do you mean?" <laughs> he's like. Yeah, look, and he just showed us this video where the ball just disappeared. It was still functional. Like, you could still shoot at Yelena, you could still hit the sieves, but it just wasn't there. And I was like, what the 
fuck is that? And so it kept happening to liter- literally everyone else but us. Except for us. Um, <laughs> and so, like, there was this one day, which was like, if I remember correctly, three days before release. I'll look for a um, screenshot. Uh, we were just um, we, we were just testing because we were trying to balance out the game a bit because Strangler was a bit too strong in stage seven, and the thing happened like the the ball wasn't there, but Zizo was playing the game and he was distracted. I just pointed at the the screen, screaming, "The the ball! The ball isn't there! Hit pause, please!" And so he just hit pause. He was. We were frozen in time for a while, and uh, we just noticed and I'll found put it in live fu- chat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The 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 picture Zizo posted is what was happening. The ball Z coordinate was for some reason in completely outer space. <laughs> we still have no absolute clue as to how that happened. It was still functional. It was just elsewhere. <laughs> I've I've put in at least like twelve hours on this game, and wow, I've never I've never had that. I like this game a lot. I love its mechanics. And I think it's really original and it's fun collecting everything. <laughs> and that has never happened. Yeah, to me, so. it, it has never oh, happened to you it. because I fixed it. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. this is all news you know. to me as well. This is all news. <laughs> I've, I, I, I like every time I play the things that like you've sent. I'm like, oh my god, this is, works really well. No bugs here. Like, oh by the way, this <laughs> this feature here isn't isn't there. Is it gonna be later? Yeah, it's gonna be there later. Oh cool. Dude, this is a game is so bug free, dude. So nice. June must be an amazing developer. I thought all this time. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I take it all back. I'm really not. <laughs> I, I I just smash my head against the keyboard a lot. But then, June, how happens. long have you have you been uh, programming for? Wow, that's a question. Um, yeah. I I feel like I could either respond ten or two years. It would make the like it would be absolutely the same like the first time i've had to deal with programming was like in high school uh and i'm 26 so it's yeah about 10 10 years uh but i didn't really make anything of it um but i restarted programming like uh 2 3 years ago because i got into game dev but then i made nothing of it as well uh, until I guess Mad Sisters, it's my first. It's the first thing I release ever. So oh my god, yeah. that's that's a pinnacle moment. Right yeah, there. it's it. It was really great. So when you got back into game dev, were you mostly using Unity, or did, like did you just jump back into Unity two years ago? Or my experience of game dev is pretty much entirely Unity. I had never used anything else. Uh, I think it's uh, pretty versatile. I think. It has room to, uh, like, you can make very shitty things with it because it's so easy to, to make stuff with Unity, but it will break if you do not put it, do not put in the extra effort. Like, uh, the collisions in Mad Sisters are completely made from scratch because I would never use Unity for that. It, it, it would be a disaster. Like, we tried and the, f- First thing that happened was Yelena was just going off into space because, yeah, that's that's what collisions do in Unity. They just do not work. It's good. <laughs> it's 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 a good engine. I like Use it. Use Unity today. <laughs> it's a good engine, but it doesn't work. <laughs> um, it does Wait, work. It does work if you punch a, it in. Here's enough. a good question: How many updates have come out since you initially released the game? Oh God, five. Five. Five updates. And is that because of user comments? Okay, so um, it was uh, a mixture of user feedback and just things we didn't have the time to implement. So, like, um, one thing that um, many people told us uh, was that, um, well, okay, while developing a game and you keep testing it, so you get used to it. Um, but the players who never played it before were like, mm, yeah, um, it's kind of hard to keep track of the character. And we were like, yeah, okay, we're going to improve the visibility of the character. Um, then we were like, we thought about how the scores were just a 
pain in the ass because they were really, really strict. And also, uh, the bottom line for passing a stage was a C, which doesn't feel great, to be honest. <laughs> so we just changed it. Uh, so the bottom line is a B, but it's the same score as it was before. So we just shifted the, the, the rating system a bit. Um, and then we added tips to, uh, you know, the, the book you can read with the, with the hand drawn tips. Um, yes, the grimoire of tips. Uh, then we made even enemies more visible. We added out auto fire because people were like, yeah, this game is pretty good, but my, my right index is just dying. It's, <laughs> it's detached of my body and it's just shriveling up in a corner. And we're like, yeah, okay, sure, we, we can add out a fire, it's, it's fine. And then we had the medals in-game, because I don't know why. I don't know if uh, medals are supposed to show up when you play something, but apparently it doesn't happen. Uh, I don't know if it's Unity or not. So we just made it custom, and they, they're just in the game now. You should have told everyone to just get good, and then you could have moved on. <laughs> that was that was the initial plan, but too many people were like, "This game sucks. It's too hard. I go to bed." <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, uh, there was an immense amount of uh, feedback, um, like, and also the response to the feedback was pretty incredible because the game started out with a rating of like uh, three point fifty five, three point six. I guess. And now we're yeah. sitting at 4.16, which is amazing, in my opinion. Like, the, the way it changed over time was was really amazing. So it felt really it felt really worth it to make those updates to the game. So how would you say your experience has been putting out this game on new grounds? Amazing. I'm so happy. Incredible. I remember the moment we finished it and uploaded uh, the game... And like thirty minutes later, it was front paged. Oh I was my like, god! What? I mean, I I at first I I thought, how do you get front paged? Is it just like because I up uploaded uh, the game, I can see it on the front page? But no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and it, it's <laughs> yeah. And it's still there. It's still there. It's still there. Yeah, that means you got hand selected. You got chosen by the fault god. That was said, amazing. This one. Yeah, Mafo Mafo said uh Mafo said Tom really liked the game and it's it weirds me out how much time Tom has for testing out all the content on yeah. the site. <laughs> but he will front page it if it's good. Absolutely crazy. So, yes. You didn't say nothing to him and he found it, you know, that's that's just wild in of itself to think that there's someone that has time to play your guys' like Lovecraftian game that you came out <laughs> in two weeks out of nowhere. I'm glad he liked it even if he gets beaten up at the end of the game. <laughs> <laughs> that Spoilers. was pretty funny. <laughs> He's using the scrambler again. Beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> and then you and, and then you unlock his character. Like um, it's yeah, that was pretty amazing honestly because uh, the game itself like um uh, again, I'm not uh, very involved with Newgrounds, but I know Zizu is and the game is pretty much a tribute to everything that we could fit into the game honestly uh we really wanted to, to to make this like um at the start we didn't even have a plans for a collection mode but we were like as, as soon as we played the game like for two days we were like what the hell are we doing why is there no collecting these character why can't we do it and we did instantly and it's amazing that People are liking it because it's it's a tribute, honestly, and it's great that it, that it was appreciated. A tribute out of nowhere, too. For out of nowhere, who have who haven't made anything for Newgrounds yet, and comes this solid game with all these nice collectibles. The moment, like, let me tell you my user experience. I played it. The music hits me. Boom. I'm like, this is classic music. I see the menus. The menus, classic pixel art. It's very solid. Nothing's too cluttered. It's just enough. And then you're shooting this ball around. You're collecting all these little things. It feels good. It feels great. And I'm trying to get the higher combos. I'm trying to learn what it is about this game that that makes it so unique. And as soon as the levels start progressing, you learn a little bit more about it. Then you want to get a little, little bit better at it. And then you find out that there's a lot of skill involved 
with this game and and you get to have fun collecting all these things oh what do you know you can go to the collectible menu and see all these little little subtitles on everything that tell you what it's from and they get all these little captions and it's it's so fleshed out to perfection and it felt so complete i, I was surprised that this came from people who haven't made something before because there's so much love into it. it 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 creeps me out how well you guys did with it and this is honestly the first time I hear someone speaking so passionately about something I made with someone else and it's honestly amazing so thank you for that number one and <laughs> yes um the the uh, the way um something I also really enjoyed is the way the thing just came into existence like uh, the initial project Zizu showed me was um, really small. It was just, um, you know, it was just, uh, the actual day one. Was it day one? Yes. Yeah. It was day one, right? Yeah. Uh, it was the actual day one, no collection whatsoever. It, it was a concept. So we just made it and then we kept going and going and going and going. There was never, uh, a time where we said, oh no, we cannot do this. Um, we are going to have to scrap this out. It was always the opposite. The game was small. And it kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Like, there was no week at the beginning. We were like, but hey, we could make more levels. We could have this be a week. We could have an entire week of levels. Uh, they're all different. They all, they all have a gimmick. So why not? Do you want enemies? Sure. Do you want, I don't know, the floor zapping you? Sure. Why not? And Every once in a while, kept... I, I'd ask June, hey, uh, would it be a problem? Would it, would it be hard for you to add this? And he was like, hell yeah, let's do it. <laughs> and he just whack at the keyboard for five hours and was like, there you go. Here's a complete cutscene system with 5,000 <laughs> things you, you won't use. <laughs> <There's>... <laughs> when I finished writing all of the story, he was like, hey, you never use the function where, where more people can talk at the same time. <laughs> and he was like, what? <laughs> That's a thing? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, it was, it was, went all it was out. fun. You, you literally went all out for this game. Uh, I can be stupid. Uh, so, yes. <laughs> yes. I just completely disregarded my well-being because my well-being was replaced by making the game. That was my idea of living in that very moment for those two weeks when we finished making the game the day after we were like what do we do now so we just kept like refreshing the newgrounds page and seeing <laughs> the the views go up and the and the score tick up one cent at a time and we were like wow awesome if you've never made a game if you've never made a game on newgrounds before that is the essential developer experience you put your your thing that you put your blood, sweat, and tears into on new grounds, and once it's there, it's it's an addiction. You just can't stop. Refresh, refresh. Yeah, I got a review. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Another review. We constantly message each other. Three point fifty six. Three point fifty seven. Three point fifty eight. No, then, three point sixty five. Cry because someone blammed it and it went down again. <laughs> yeah, who the that, fuck blamed our game? That's Newgrounds experience. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Yeah, but you guys made it like huge though, because like your score kept going up. You yeah. got on the front page, and then the cream of it all, you got on the Newgrounds podcast. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> Everything is just it's downhill only, it's from only here. Downhill. Yep. Just yeah, downhill. It's downhill from here. So yep. speaking of, speaking of what's next, what are you guys gonna do next? And is it gonna be the three of you working together again? And would you ever come up with a name for your guys's like development team? Oh, we're gonna make Prout me and fuck. 100%. I wasn't informed of this, but yeah, I guess. Per, uh, would you mind making the music for the Proot Meet and Fuck? But, but they already have a theme song. I can make an 8 bit version out of it if you want to. Can you, like, moan into the microphone? Right now? In if front of everybody? This is awkward. I'll blush if you do. <laughs> that was a bad moment. Yeah, I'm just us, reading into the mic. Samples. I'm just reading into the mic at the moment. This is... Wait, are you waiting this for me is, to This mold? is becoming a uh, a theme on this podcast that we invent mean and fuck games and then we get voice samples for them. <laughs> Excellent. 
Corey's done it. Voices by Corey has done it. <laughs> oh boy, Prout is gonna be voiced by Corey. So nothing, <laughs> nothing in the future except for a meet and fuck game. I guess. <laughs> All right. Okay, Josh. What? What are you? What do, where do you think this game matches up to in terms of Newgrounds games that come out and have that theme of using Newgrounds characters? Because you've seen a lot, obviously. Uh, there's there's nothing quite to the scale. Like um, like Newgrounds Rumble comes to mind just because it had like a big, deep reference roster. Um, mm. The um, the Flash Smash games. Um, but nothing was has been this big of a love letter to Newgrounds in particular. Uh, you guys were talking before about the collectible system. I'm so glad you put that in there because when I was playing it, I actually became paralyzed playing the game because I'm like, oh, fuck, I know that character. I, I'm, I watch all the little sprites come out, and instead of playing the game, I'm trying to like play Where's Waldo and find out who's all in this <laughs> damn game. And then I saw the collectibles thing, and I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, I'll just plow through the story mode, and then I'll look at them all. Yeah. And then I got to the story mode, or I got through all that, I look at it, and I'm like, oh, shit, I got to get 76 more characters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah also like they have they are so many so, so that even like the character that are less rare are still are still not so likely to to appear because there are so many others and so they they have their own kind of rarity June played the game for hours to like oh get my God. max no, score no. on every single <laughs> to get max score on every single stage and get the highest score possible on endless and he's still missing one five star character the meatball man I can I cannot find the meatball man I cannot <laughs> find the meatball man <laughs> and I sent him the <laughs> screenshot of me finding it and he was very mad <laughs> oh. Let me let me say the bank levels bullshit and it hurts my feelings you can't Oh my god. Get a, I, I hate it. A y on I it. hate it. I hate it. It's yeah, it's it the worst level. I I I will say it openly. It's the worst level. I hate it. Well, I'll counter that and I'll say it's the best level because of one small detail. Oh, okay, true. <laughs> Because the beautiful ethnic carpet in the lobby is That's the true. same beautiful carpet I have in my room. It's a it's a wonderful Sardinian carpet that I have no fucking clue what it's supposed to represent. I think there's a horse on it. I think, but um, that's the extent I got, even after yeah. redrawing it. But it's a beautiful no, it's, carpet. It's it's like um, it's like someone with an aneurysm just sketched, and that was the result. It it was just that carpet, and we just put it in the game. It's in. It's in his physical room, in Zizu's physical actual room. It's fine. He could, he could come right now in my room and just like burn it or piss on it. <laughs> yeah, I do. He could do times. that, but he won't. I was wondering where that where that joke was coming from about the ethnic carpet. I thought it. <laughs> I thought it had more to do with these OCs being completely fleshed out. That you understood like their character dynamic. That they're goofy. And they steal ethnic carpets or something. Oh yeah, well, Mar- that's the thing. Marisha. Too. Marisha just loves it. Ethnic carpets. She has one like, in her room as well. Yeah, it's horrible. It's are you going to carpet. do more with these characters? Um, uh, hopefully. Are we? Maybe. Yeah. Why not? Well, yeah. Why not? We were we were eating before, and, and uh, June told me to make a a wonderful remake of a wonderful PS One game uh, featuring. <laughs> I don't know if you know the awful, awful game Monster Rancher Hop About, but uh, <laughs> it's awful. Expect it on the front page soon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It, it may happen. Who knows? <laughs> we have like five other game ideas that has to happen before that season. We gotta. Yeah. Oh, don't don't remind me. All of them with Prutus music in them. Peru, do you make do you make a lot of music and where can your music be found? Because I'm looking at your Newgrounds page and there's really nothing there for me to go <laughs> well, through. Well, you see, yeah. down below the description, there's a nice SoundCloud link right there. Click it. Oh, click. it's a SoundCloud. I'm, yeah, because I'm yeah. still a newbie to Newgrounds. I'm a new Newgrounds booby, so uh, I haven't <laughs> uploaded so much. Just that soundtrack so far. But I, a lot of music that I have is for games that Sizu and I are making. So I don't, I don't want to post them anywhere on, in case the games become well, a thing. I guess you you can post uh, like the the cybercrime. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. 
All the all the games that were actually released, you can post them. Oh yeah. True. Also, the ones that they're like dead in the water. But you they're can, not. But, but they're that yours. music is it's old and bad, and I don't want to upload it anywhere because it's bad. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> I'll keep them in my heart. I had them as my ringtone for a really long time. You did? Oh, Which one? Man. Yeah. Um, I, some some two more friends track was my my ringtone. Also the like the eight bit version of the cybercrime oh. theme was my. So what are these two other games that you guys actually came out with? Uh, that you well, didn't trash. Uh, the, the first the first one I mentioned, two more friends, is the one we met through on 4chan. Uh, which is like this weird RPG maker game where you make friends and that's it, and it's <laughs> <laughs> and it's on itch.io and for some reason there's people who like it because and, it's uh, really it's... charming. It's it really is. <laughs> it's a it's and, a it's um, a really cute game. Just... Yeah, it, it's cute. It's cute, and like uh, cybercrime is a weird um, like Ace Attorney type thing where. Where the the main character bops bops his head to the rhythm, and that's a thing I like. <laughs> that's a that's a main mechanic of the game. <laughs> uh, absolutely. <laughs> it's a, it, it's a, it has the, it's an immersive experience. It has the same <laughs> weird writing style of the of Mad Sisters, I guess. So if you want yeah. more funny text, you can play that. It's like ten minutes long. Those are on your uh, your itch.io page, right? Yeah, the uh, Mafo linked it in the in the chat. Yeah, for for those listening, it's pep p e p dot itch dot io. For some reason, the <laughs> thumbnail is my my Hong Kong ninety seven <laughs> Pico eight remake. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, um, uh, Xin, Shin, I, I don't know how to spell your name. Nobody um, does. Well, X and X, X and X, X and X, X and X. Just pronounce the vowels. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in, 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 in. Okay. So, in, 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 in. Uh, and we're back to the meat and fuck game. <laughs> Hell yeah. Like, so basically, you um, have a fishing rod. And there's a whole... What? Uh, there's a fishing mini game in the meat and fuck game. <laughs> and, 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 you, and you catch fish and you and you and you give them to Prout and he's really happy about it. I really like fish. I really do. <laughs> a nice large mouth bass. I'll... Oh my god! And there's four hundred and and uh, thirty four fish you can catch. <laughs> <laughs> there's actually there's actually a catfishing cuties by Mowing on Newgrounds where you can catfish. Well, you fish. And during certain times of the day, you catch like dates for like your Tinder oh, profile. Oh boy! Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that yeah, kind of reminds me. Zizu and I were thinking about making a hybrid between Arkanoid and a dating sim. That neighbor came. To, that neighbor never came to happen. But yeah, why not? It could. It could. We, 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 it, could. it could happen. Mad of course. Sisters uh, dating. Need a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no. He said no. That's a hard no on that one. <laughs> I, uh, Yelena doesn't 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 have to be looted. <laughs> on that moment of silence, please. <laughs> All you're right. breaking Zin, you're breaking Zin's heart right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. I don't I don't condone looting other people's characters, but your own. Feel free, your own <laughs> characters. Feel free. I give everyone permission to loot Yelena. Absolutely. We heard it here first, folks. All right. <laughs> so the on. next art contest. <laughs> next game jam. Be careful. Have you seen MK Mafo's uh, uh, art? Have you seen it? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, the the chances are really high of that happening. Yeah. You, you, know, you know the door you have opened now. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh right, so, uh, Xinxinix. I wanted to. Uh, I, I guess, or I, I'm, I'm, I'll just stick to calling you that. Um, ha, since you talked about how much you spent, uh, how much time you poured into the game, um, I wanted to mention a few details that I don't know if you noticed, but we actually spend time implementing those, and I, and I, I feel like a few people noticed, uh, and I'm really happy about it. But uh, do. You, like you know how um the pause screen is Marisha getting her phone and looking at it like there's a hand holding the phone right 
Um, um, can I be honest? I only paused the game once for like three seconds. That's fine. It's it, <laughs> you talk about you talk about in game, right? Um, yeah, both in game and the options, uh, the options uh, in the main menu. It's it's kind of the same screen. Um, so pr- the thing that happens is Marisha gets her phone, so you can see like um, part of her of her arm. Uh, but if you are in the tutorial stage. So you still have your PJs on. You see that with the actual PJ. So uh, the 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 Marisha you're using changes the pause menu. And also, I don't know if you've noticed that, but the main menu is like you have this shelf with things on it. Uh, and if you look carefully in the stage zero, the tutorial stage, which is Marisha's room, you can see the main menu on the wall. It's right there. It, it, I didn't know this either. Things. <laughs> it's what? things Damn. in Marisha's room. And as we updated the game to add stuff to the main menu, I had to rearrange her entire wall to fit more stuff into there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the little Easter eggs. There's like so many details that flash by too. Like I noticed like when you finish a level and the background zooms up, you pick up things like just for a half second before the level complete screen comes up and hides it on you. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the best thing is uh, level 5 when you when you are in the in the 8-bit dungeon and then it zooms out and it's just Marisha playing video games. Yes. Yes. Marisha. That one was nice. Like what are we going to do next? And then and then they're doing this and it turns out it's just them playing the game. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Yelena or the is the balls Yelena, right? Yes. Or is yes. Balls Yelena, yeah. Uh, Yelena's like, dude, what are we doing here? Why are we playing fucking video games? It's like, it's like, it's like this is immersive for a little silly shoot 'em up mm-hmm. game. This is pretty good. I I didn't know what to expect next, and it it, it all turned out to be really P- well people done. in the chat asking about the the dress up game. Uh, <laughs> that that was something I was pestering June about for days. I kept begging him, please. Let me add the secret dress up game, please. And he kept just staring at me with death in his eyes. Saying, <laughs> just no reply. Absolutely no reply. And then af- after a while, he called me to his room and showed me a screen where you could drag squares around. And I just looked at him and said, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> like, uh, I-, I knew that making a dress up game, at, like coding it, takes like 25 seconds. Or something like that. And I was just like, no, you will not have that until we're <laughs> not done with the game. Uh, because I knew that if I gave that to him earlier, he would have worked on that and not on the game that was very much unfinished. So, That's but I'm, I'm glad we did it in the end. You saved it. You saved it as like a little treat. Is like, yeah, if you if you do all your work, I'll make you a dress up game. <laughs> just two hundred more sprites. Just two hundred. Just go to draw two hundred more sprites, and you will get the dress up. Okay. Zizu can have a little dress up game as a treat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. You're wor- you're waking up. You're working on art for twelve hours a day just for the dress up game, just so you can get a dress up game event. Also, I <laughs> I went and downloaded the like Flash Eight just to do the the dress up game sprites because of that wonderful b- brush tool with the weird <laughs> anti aliasing. Just so yes. just so everyone knows, to get to the dress up game, you gotta you gotta find the button. You gotta press it. <laughs> yeah, and like there's absolutely a button to press. Yeah, it's a, it's, like, it's a very the, nice button. The button begs <laughs> to be pressed. Let me say my favorite character that you guys put in there was the dot from dot dot dot. Because when that came out, <laughs> when that when that came out, when that came out, I was like, I know that, I know what that's from. Before I even got I it, I'm like, that that's reference. the dot. That's the dot. <laughs> the, the, the like, um, I had no idea about dot dot dot, but Zizo showed it to me, and it's. It's become one of my favorite things. It's so nice. It is so fun. It makes me crack up. Like, there's another nod that's not even, like, in the core game. When you're looking at your collection, if you click the fucking elephant for achievement unlocked... Oh, my God. You unlock an achievement. (laughs) Well, you deserve it. (laughs) I didn't know that. I'm going to go do that. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Like, yeah. Some of us are more hardcores in. 
there's so but many really, characters I wanted to like choose that would just make people say, "Why is that in the game?" Oh my god, <laughs> wait, we haven't talked about the thing. Wait, what thing? What's the thing? The the thing. The the guy. Why? What? Huh? Zizu. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I don't know if you've seen a few of the descriptions, uh, but there's um, oh, uh, oh. <laughs> the, <laughs> yeah, there's a few peculiar ones, such as uh, Uber Sam. Have you read Uber Sam description? Uh, maybe. How's it go? Uh, okay, um, so you know how when you click a character, depending on its rarity, um, more or less people will come to see it in the collection. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, whenever you click Ubersam, literally never, ever, like, no one ever comes. And the description is, why did no one come to see Ubersam? And it's quite sad. Um, so, that's actually, that, that has a reason. It's uh, also not do- a joke, so... <laughs> We, oh, I'm sorry. I'll stop laughing. You're right. My bad. We we do we do not hate Uber Sam, but um, it's speak it's for like, yourself. Okay. Well, yeah. Fuck Uber Sam. Um, it's something that happened during development. I was working on the crowd in the collection, which is a really nice detail, and um, I changed something like a a little something that should have been absolutely innocent, but had the crowd stop working 100%. So I just randomly clicked on Ubersam and Zizu was next to me and there was no one there at all. <laughs> and I was, and I just, and I just, and I just looked at Zizu like with sadness in my eyes and I was like, why did no one come to see Ubersam? And that just stayed. It, in the most earnest voice I have ever heard him. <laughs> I was legitimately sad because it's actually a dice roll. Like, there is a chance that no one will come to see a one star, but it's very rare. Like, um, there are like uh, 12 people, maybe 15, and they all have a 20% chance to show up. So it's very rare that no one comes. And I was like, wow, this is the unluckiest role. And I was like, why? Why why did no one come to see Uber Sam? So, yeah. Uber Sam is just hated in he, your guys' game. He, do- he doesn't get the love. And every every single time we we tested the crowd, Jun would <laughs> accidentally click on Uber Sam to test it so nobody <laughs> would freaking come. <laughs> And yeah. like at a certain point, I had to send him like a zip file with all of the of the little character sprites, and I accidentally clicked on <laughs> Uber Sam when I when I zipped it, so it was just called ubersam.zip, which is a <laughs> wonderful file. <laughs> like Uber Sam intrinsically became part of this. Like he's much more important of a Civ than the others, but at the same time, he's not. Did all of you guys toss in Newgrounds references, like, individually? Or did one person decide who's all going into the game? And well... Was it, was it uh, Sizu? I, I, like, wrote the initial list, which was uh, slightly longer than uh, all the sibs that are uh, in the game now. But a lot of um, of suggestions came from uh, from Brut and June, and also other people. I went to, to friends of mine and asked, what's your favorite Newgrounds game? What's your favorite Flash game? Because initially I thought just hey, classic Newgrounds characters, but then I started saying, no, I want Flash characters to be in here. I want animation characters to be in here. I want people to see the characters they enjoy in the in the like creation community, in like Newgrounds yeah. as a whole. They weren't like, oh, isn't Newgrounds dead? <laughs> they weren't <laughs> like, isn't Flash dead? Isn't Newgrounds dead? You mean that ghost of a website? Lots of people just said uh, I have I don't remember because they used to play flash games as a kid. As yeah, kids they just didn't want to say meat and fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I will say meat and fuck was in the original list, but yeah. it was cut out due to time constraints. <laughs> Literally, the only thing the things we had to cut out due to time constraints were sibs, just because like when the game was done, I lost all energy and. Uh, and adding more more sieves uh, would like fuck up the, the medals. So yeah, we didn't. 
Yeah, and and obviously the time constraint probably helped you guys creatively to push the game out. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Like if you if you told me I would have to work for an entire year on something, I would be like, hey, yeah, no. It wouldn't be finished, and but it would also have a wonderful fishing mini game. Yeah, it would. <laughs> <laughs> What's it with would. this fishing mini game? Why is that continuously well, popping up? Well, let me just say. Let me just say there's a game I've been working on since like <laughs> September 2019 and it's it's like very close to completion and it has a wonderful fishing mini game in it. It does, it does. I can vouch for that. It's very nice. All the fish have, have cute little sprites and there's like cute little fishing I'm themes. afraid of this game now. I feel like there's a lot more to it. Like maybe everyone's getting murdered, but there's a cute little fishing game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Just the darkest thing you've ever seen with, with a cute fishing game. So, Prue, let me ask you, since I know the least about you, what Newgrounds reference did you have them throw in there? What, or what Newgrounds reference are you most happiest to see in the collection? Mm, the thing is, I have a really vanilla taste in Newgrounds when I was a kid. So I was like, oh, dude, throw in, like, Storm the Castle. And, and like, no, Storm the House and Defend the Castle was, like, something I threw in. But then... I, I, I wanted to say mean and fuck, but I didn't want to be that person. But apparently, <laughs> but apparently, I was wrong in that assessment. Uh, so I didn't really attribute much to that list. I'm afraid. I'm a really vanilla Newgrounds person. Zone is a, a five star collectible that I finally got. I noticed that too. Yeah. So she's in there. So part <laughs> part of part of that world is in there. Zone sprite, I think, is the one that. I had to work on the most because our other flatmate like kept saying, "No, she's weird. Just keep, change her face, change her arms. <laughs> uh, her her shoulder is one pixel too high. Yeah, you mean too, you, too low. it got really personal. You mean oh, it got really per- so you know what your flatmates into now? You know? <laughs> oh, oh, don't don't worry. We know. We know. <laughs> <laughs> the same person that was probably like, these guys will not shut the fuck up. They've been working on something for two weeks. God, they're being so loud. Then he ends up in the room like, no, nah, you're doing this wrong. You should do this. You should no, do actually, that. actually I'm, I'm incredibly thankful because he helped test the game like quite a bit. So that was... He tested it so much. Yeah. He found quite a lot of bugs. Oh, right. Also, he also one found... extremely... Yeah, yeah, that one. Yes. Um... So, like, you know how I was talking about how incredible Unity is? Well, <laughs> uh, uh, apparently, WebGL and Unity um, do not share the same ideas. Um, so, like, there are a few things that I'm uh, that I usually do uh, when I program something uh, that apparently WebGL really doesn't like. Um, but no one stops you from doing that in code. So I just did. And whenever we up- up- uploaded the test build with the cutscene system, um, you know, the game was just like, oh, yeah, by the way, um, memory is out of bounds, which means literally nothing. It's like error. Okay, that's it. And so we ha- I-, I had to rework a few things quite a few time- times. Thank you, WebGL. But it's good. It's all good. In in the end, it worked, which is what matters. Yeah, which is all that matters. It doesn't matter if two weeks of your blood, sweat, and tears ends up with just error and no yes. no way to fix it. <laughs> Absolutely. At, at first, we were like, no, 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 just like change browser, <laughs> uninstall all of your freaking oh yeah. extensions. What are you using? Why are you? Why do you have? All this shit. Just Are you aggressively blocking cookies? Oh, fucking course it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers. It wasn't it. the cookies. I opened it on my laptop and it died. And I was like, oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Apparently it really doesn't work and it's not your fault. Now, I'm going to continue this question. June, what is yes. your favorite Newgrounds reference that got tossed in the game? Okay, my favorite Newgrounds reference. Holy shit, that's a tough one. Um, okay, one, I, um, a, a few ones I personally want to, like, I asked for them to be in the game are, uh, the, the, car- the player and the boss from, uh, Pause Ahead, which is one of my favorite games ever. Like, um, it's, uh, it's this game where it, it's a platform game. Um, where you can pause and 
the the pause menu keeps the inertia of your character without altering it. And so that's a, a really cool gimmick. If you haven't played that, please do. Um, but I also really, uh, really liked, like, End the Ninja. Uh, I, I played lots of Endgame as a kid. It's it, it was so fun. And then also all the characters from Bam and Piter Man. I love those. Um, oh, another one I personally requested that no one seems to ever care about is Line Rider. How do people not care about Line Rider? Isn't that where you draw a line and then you just drop your dude onto it and he slides, he goes down it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? They, yeah. Made, they made memes using the game. That's how popular it was, man. Yeah, it, it was. It was really good. Oh, also, I really like the scary maze. Scary maze. <laughs> the the you know the the jump scare maze. The, yeah. Oh, sp- wait, what? Um, <laughs> scary maze game. God damn wait, it! Wait. I've never played oh. it. Oh. Well, you, you should. It's <laughs> right, a very nice it's game. A really it's a very game. nice normal maze game. It's a really funny game. Okay, well, it's called it's called Scary Maze, so... <laughs> you should play it right now. <laughs> I'll, I'll stream it right now. I'll play this, all right, and we can't leave the interview until I'm done playing it, okay? <laughs> Jude, your voice sounds like, <laughs> good job, bro. <laughs> all right, Tomb, Tomb Dude or Sizzo, what is your favorite yes. Newgrounds reference you got put into the game? Uh, oh, God. Uh, all of them isn't a valid answer. No, uh, that's a shitty answer. All... <laughs> yes, but... <laughs> Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll I'll just say the ones I I wrote like cryptic anecdotes for as a de- as a description because like uh, stuff like <laughs> the red characters. The wor- yeah, the worm. Fr- oh no, not that one. <laughs> like the the worm. <laughs> the worm from um, what's it called? The visitor. Yes. I have a wonderful anecdote for that one because like. <laughs> The the description for the the cat form of of the visitor worm is I love you mom with a big heart, and like what what the hell does that mean? Basically, one of my favorite Newgrounds memories from when I was a kid is that I was playing the visitor on Newgrounds because hey, it's a game with blood in it. That's insane. Yeah. And uh, so my mom and my mom enters my room, <laughs> and he's, she's like, Zizu, what are you doing? And I had uh, opened a new tab, and I was just staring at Google. <laughs> and I, was, I was saying, "Oh, well, nothing. I'm doing nothing." And she just put, she points at the ta- at the Newgrounds tab and says, "What's that?" And it just says the visitor. And I close it without even opening it. And I and I just look at her and says, and say, and I say, "Well, nothing." <laughs> and she she says, <laughs> she says, she says, "I'll be back in five minutes." And when she comes back, I I had a, a big word document open that just said "I love you, mom." <laughs> and she one she one hundred percent thought I was looking at porn. Well, I was just I was just playing uh, games with blood in them. Oh, uh, also, um, also like uh, Alien Hominid does the same. Yeah, when I when when I was a kid, uh, I had uh, Alien Hominid on the PS2. I loved that game, and uh, there's an option in the in, in the options that lets you disable the blood and it uh, replaces it with confetti and sparkles and stuff. And I had to play uh, the game with that because my mother was mad at the the blood and the stakes that would fly out when you killed people. But confetti is fine. And, and in fact, Hominid's description is be sure to turn off blood and gore or mom will get mad. <laughs> this must have been Shout back, out to my mom. Back when uh <laughs> when parents would be really like mad at flash games or whatever, all the blood on the internet, you know? Nowadays everything's so commonplace. You're gonna buy your seven year old GTA, you know, you don't care if there's blood in fucking <laughs> alien hominid. Yeah. <laughs> but back then, definitely. <laughs> Um, Josh, what's your favorite Newgrounds reference that's in the game? <laughs> oh, dude, I was amazed when I was playing it, and I found the ball for Mini Putt too. Oh boy! <laughs> oh, oh wait, you, you didn't put that in there, did you? No, no love for the Cycle Goldfish games. I see how it is. I see how it. I see where I stand. He's talking about his own game. <laughs> You'll make me cry. <laughs> You gotta donate five dollars to get in the game. You didn't know that. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, shit. oh boy, we okay, can do I'll that. Oh my, shit! I'll change my answer. My my answer is Weeble and Bob. Now it's Weeble and Bob. Oh Weeble yeah. We'll push an update just for you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Are you guys still gonna update the game? Or are you guys moving on now? Um, I don't know. Um, the the game is in a kind of finished state. Uh, we may eventually do something, but it's there, there's nothing planned, I guess. Well, that's fair enough. I think it's a very complete, solid game at this point, and I feel like you guys addressed everything that people wanted in there, and now it's... I don't want to say perfect. I don't know if anything's ever perfect, but Why, having thank over, you. Four, over 400 collectibles is kind of good, you know? I feel like we, we're, we're good to walk away now, and I, I want to say my favorite collectible is Gentles, because that just shows how <laughs> yeah. relevant you guys wanted to be, and I love Gentles. I love that animation by Jacqueline. It's sweet-ass animation. One of my favorites. That's pretty much it. That's all uh, we got today, guys. Thank you guys for coming on to the New Grounds podcast. Prue, I hope to see more music from you. June, I hope you create that meat fuck game. Doom Dude, <laughs> I hope you draw the art for it. Josh, stay stay Josh. Don't you don't you ever change, man. Mini Putt two point two needs to come out eventually. <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank you Thanks everyone for having us. Who thank you for up. having us, really. No, thank you guys for wanting to come on, man. That's so oh, nice. This was awesome. <laughs> no, thank you. Shout out to uh, MK Mafo for telling Toon Dude to make a pixel game, and we got one of the greatest <laughs> pixel games I've played in a while. So. Shout, yeah, shout out to to Game Wake Maker not to work correctly and have Zizu all ask me for help, and so I made a game too. That's that's that was a series of coincidences that were pretty good. <laughs> Shout out to Nightbug for the freaking Holy awesome shit. art he made Nightbug. for the menu and the thumbnail. Nightbug's amazing. It's freaking amazing. I have it tattooed on my back like a big Yakuza <laughs> tattoo. <laughs> June can confirm it. And then you make a second game, you got to get another big tattoo all across your chest. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's just a walking advertisement for your games. Yeah, Nightbug, that's with three Gs. <laughs> Thank you yes. guys for coming on. Check out the promo art. Check out the game. Check out the stuff in there. Look at the collectibles. Feel free to do whatever the fuck you want. And then if you ever fail at something, just ask your roommate to do it for you. This is yes. the New Grounds Podcast. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. Check. check. One, two. Check. One, two, check. 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 All check. right. Everyone, stop your audacity. Send it to yes. me. Clap. We got to clap again. Okay. Oh, we yeah, got to clap. clap. All right. Yeah, right, we beautiful. got it. We no, got you're it. supposed to clap once, not multiple. What? No. Wait, okay. Wait, I got it. Got it. And that's a print, folks. That's a print. Did, did, they, did they say that in audio? I don't know. Thank you for listening to the New Grounds Podcast. This show is recorded live on our Discord server. Join us at bit.ly slash NGP Discord. For the latest news, follow us on Twitter at the NG Podcast. Thank you to Waterflame for the use of his song, Gatherfly. Goodbye. <laughs> Wild, man. Yeah, that's hell, dog. Uh, Has Tom sent you guys a message personally? It was like, hey, man, thanks for that uh, Newgrounds game. Uh, well, well, he's, uh, he's in my Tom <laughs> when, he's in when, my we released, <laughs> when we released the game, uh, June, June, June was like, Hey, Tom Fulp followed me. I was like, What? That's awesome. Then Prude was like, Hey, Tom Fulp followed me. And I just sat in my room and they cried and I sobbed myself to sleep. Why didn't Tom Fulp follow me? He hates me. Did, did he follow you eventually? No. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, Very bitter about it. Still got, why did bully him? No, he did. Why did I quit no recording? One. I quit recording, but you have to edit that into the episode so Tom hears it. Josh, I, you gotta I, no, you gotta call Tom right now. Get him on speakerphone. I hacked into his, his security cameras in his home, and he has like a picture of me on his on his wall. And he keeps punching it. And he's like, why did you make me die in your game? <laughs> yeah. That is actually really funny imagery. <laughs> it's a personal grudge. He why did you me. make me die? In your game? Why did you turn off the blood in Alien Home in it when you played it as a kid? <laughs> That's not how I intended the game to be played. <laughs>